Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right from left to right, uh, Brayden Smith, Zach Eady, and Caleb First. Just raise your hand, we'll get a mic to you. Mike? Uh, Brayden, does that first six, seven minutes of the second half, you look gassed, but how did you manage to get through that and continue to play at the level that you did? Uh, I think just that's how they play defense whole game, so I kind of just got to get over it at some point. Um, I mean, I'm going to be tired either way. So just trying to keep a positive mindset towards it and trying to break that fast. Caleb, uh, overall great game. You looked like you were mind was set on this game from the start. You didn't take any plays off. It looked like, like you had your mind into this game. Talk about some of the advantages you thought you had tonight. Yeah, I think it's just um... – you know, kind of the same things we try to do every game. Obviously, we try to get get the ball into Zach a lot. Um, you know, and we trust him to make those decisions, whether it's to score, you know, hit someone for a kick out three or anything like that. But even if we don't get it in, just the, the presence that he commands and the um, the attention that they got to give him, it just opens up stuff for, for so many other guys, whether it's crashing the glass, um, you know, open shots, just things like that. Hey, Zach, question about your teammates. Um, how special is that tonight? You know, they were double, triple, quadruple teaming you and see your teammates come through and, and really, when they try to shut you down, just come through and really take it to them. Uh, yeah, it's cool to see, but it's, it's not surprising. Uh, you know, they've kind of been doing this type of thing all year. Uh, you know, when teams really want to play like that against me, really want to try to limit my post touches. Uh, we got a bunch of guys, like I said, but we got a really deep team. Uh, we got a lot of guys that can hurt you, and I think uh, that was kind of showing today. Uh, Braden, I think this is three straight games now where um, Zach had 38, then Mason had 29 at home, and then now you have 24 tonight. Uh, why was tonight your night, and it seemed like it was your night early, just the way that they were defending you? Um, I feel like I just kind of go out there and attack a game the same way. Um, I mean, shots just fell, and kind of just play, play um, how it went. So um, with the shots being able to fall, obviously confidence goes up a little bit. So that's what was happening, so it just felt good to make a couple shots. Braden, uh, Iowa pulled to within six with uh, six minutes to go, and then you guys went on a big run to close out the game. Can you just talk about what you did over those final six minutes to put this thing away? I mean, I feel like our team's really got to handle that uh, when teams come back, and especially on the road when the crowd gets into it, um, we're good with responding. So, I mean, we're not shocked by it. I mean, we knew they were able to come back and hit those shots because that's what kind of team they are. So, um, we kind of just handled it real well, and then we got some uh, shots to fall and got on that run. Yeah, yeah Braden, obviously, uh, first possession of the game, you guys turned the ball over and gave up that fast break dunk. But from then on, you know, 19-2 to run really got up big in the first half. Just how important was that to really start off on the right foot against a team that, uh, as you guys saw in the second half, can really put some runs together um, no matter how how big the lead gets? Um, it definitely helps um, being able to have a lead like that. Um, I mean, just like that, if they went on that run early, it would have been hard because they're all so good and they all can shoot. So. Being able to go on that run early is really helpful. Zach, when, uh, when your bigs, Caleb and Mason, are hitting threes, what, is that, what does that do for your offense? Yeah, it makes it really tough. Uh, you know, teams want, some teams want to double big to big. That's a pretty common thing. So when Caleb and Mason are hitting threes, obviously you can't do that. Um, they have to kind of stay with them. It opens the floor up a lot. It makes it, when, I, when anyone's hitting shot, it opens the floor up. Uh, it makes it really hard for teams to double um, and give me more room to operate in the post. Hey, Caleb, um, I've asked Zach before about your rebounding, about how you kind of move around. A lot of rebounds tonight. What's it like to, you know, sacrifice points but get the rebounds for the team? Yeah, kind of like I said earlier, um, you know, with, with the attention that Zach commands, it opens up a lot of, um, you know, weak side rebounding opportunities. And we knew coming in the game with the, just the way that they play defense and the way that they scramble, um, you know, that it's, it's hard for them a lot of times to have um, – you know, good kind of rebounding matchups um, defensively with boxing out. And so, um, you know, we really kind of hammered home practice the past couple of days, just really focusing on crashing that glass and getting those rebounds. Brayden, you, um, after the, the IU game, it seemed like tonight you were a little more aggressive beyond the arc. Is that something as a pass first guard, something that you have to keep reminding yourself of to put those shots up when you feel like you have them when they go underneath the screen? I mean, not necessarily. I kind of, it's just how I play. Um, in high school, I was kind of more score first, but here it kind of 
get people in the right position to be successful. So, I mean, when they go under, I mean, I'm going to take my shot. And tonight, like I said a couple of times, um, the, shot, uh, the ball is going in. So, it feels good when that happens and the confidence is up. Caleb, early on, uh, fast break, and, and Braden hits you um, for the N1. Just, I guess, the way that he sees the floor, especially as young as he is, do you kind of have to expect at all times that a pass could be whipped your way at any given moment? Yeah, for sure. Um, with him, though, he kind of has like a little tell. Like, he'll look at you real quick for a second and look away. Um, so, you know, I think we've all kind of gotten used to it, knowing when, um, you know, when, knowing when it's coming our way and being able to be ready for it. Anything else? Great. Did you anticipate being a one-man press break uh, tonight, or just kind of how those were the openings for you? Um, I just let those the openings. Um, they gave it to us, so I mean, I tried to kind of do my part early, and then I started to come double team and do that. So I try to handle the ball a bit better. But other than that, just trying to get the ball down the floor. Thank you, guys. Thank you.